For this hairstyle, I've parted my hair on the right side. Then I'm going to divide out a small section to frame my face and then a larger section for the second braid and clip this hair out of the way. Now I'm going to pick up a small section near the part and divide it into three smaller pieces. And I'm creating a French braid, so I'm going to first cross the right strand over the middle and then cross the left strand over the middle. Now I'm going to cross the right strand over the middle, pick up a new section of hair and cross it into the braid. Then I'm going to cross the left strand over the middle, pick up a new section and cross it over and into the middle strand as well. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, bringing really small sections into the braid until it reaches my temple. Then I'm just going to braid the section a little further down and then go back over the braid and gently pull on the edges just to make it a little bit fuller. And then I'm going to slide a bobby pin over the bottom and smooth down any flyaways with hairspray. Now I'm going to let down the front section of hair and with this I'm going to create a fishtail braid. So I'm picking up a section near the part and dividing it into two smaller pieces. And I'm going to take a small section from the right side, cross it over to the left, then cross a small piece from the left over to the right. And now I'm going to cross a small piece from the right over to the left, pick up a new section and cross it over to the left. Then I'm going to cross a small piece from the left over to the right, pick up a new section of hair and cross it over to the right. And I'm just going to repeat those steps until the braid reaches my left temple. Now I'm going to stop adding in new sections to the right side of the braid and only bring in hair to the left side until the braid reaches my left ear. And then I'm just going to braid the section to the bottom, go back over the braid, pull in on the edges to make it a little bit fuller, and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom so it doesn't unravel. Moving to the right side of my head, I'm going to create a second fringe braid, crossing the side strands over the middle strand while bringing new sections into the braid and working my way down until the braid reaches about an inch above my right ear. And then I'm just going to braid the rest of the section and slide a bobby pin over the bottom. Now I'm going to pick up a section of hair right underneath the previous braid and braid this section into a regular fishtail braid. So I'm just dividing it into two sections, taking small pieces from one side, crossing them over to the opposite side, and working my way all the way down to the bottom. Now I'm going to go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make it a little bit fuller, and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom. Now I'm going to bring all four braids around to the back of my head, and with the top two braids, I'm going to create a gap in the left braid, and pull the right braid through the gap, and then pin the braids against my head. And then I'm going to take the two lower braids, create a gap in the right braid, and pull the left braid through the gap, and then pin them against my head with bobby pins. Once those are pinned, I can remove the bobby pins from the ends of the braids and brush through them.